and welcome back to Spiritual Soul. Well, today, I guess you're wondering, you owe an unboxing what now? Yes. While we do our inspiration and our spiritual soul, which is our scriptures, I'm going to unbox this Mother's Day gift that I got from my son. He got me an air fryer. Now, I cook a lot of vegetables. If I do cook anything, it's vegetables. And, you know, I use my wok. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm a big wok user because I cook a lot of vegetables and I may eat shrimp or salmon. Other than that, then it's just all vegetable salad. But he got me an air fry, so now I'm very interested in trying to figure out some ways I can cook with it. So I thought while I do our inspiration in our scripture today, I'm going to unbox this baby. What do you think? Let's do it. Okay, so what's our first word for today? I start today. Today I am excited about everything. We have got to stop feeding the negativity. Do you feed it? Did you feed it this morning? Did you give in to anything negative, thoughts, any? Don't feed into it. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. On this channel, I do everything for your inside and out. I do fashion, I do lifestyle, I do beauty. But I also want to work on my soul. So I use this channel or platform to do that. You know, I'm just a grandma who's trying to live her life. I was blessed with this air fryer from my son. You know God works through people too, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's see what's... Let's see if I can open this. I've been saving it just for this occasion. So, when I think about making sure that I'm grateful for every little thing, and I know that's not easy for some, because some people be like, but I don't have nothing. But is that when you're comparing it to what others have? Or do you really not have any? So, that's the first thought we gotta have. So, on behalf of all of us at Costiari, happy cooking. Oh Lord, this is a lot, honey. Okay, I'm gonna put this down and unbox it from here and show you all the pieces. Isn't this cute? I love pretty and dangerous. Cause that's what I am. Don't play with me. What do I have to go on my inspiration board today? Well, breaking through your limiting, let me start over. Breaking through your limiting belief takes repetition of new empowering beliefs. So, what that mean? What you saying, Miss Nina? Well, if you breaking through what you keep limiting yourself to, well, I guess this is all I deserve. Well, I guess this is it. You're limiting, I believe, well, I want to believe things will get better, but so soon as you put the butt in there, as soon as you put the negativity in there, as soon as you disbelieve, you knock the power away. So breaking through your limiting belief system takes repetition of new empowering beliefs. So that means you need to believe, you have to empower yourself. See, you empower yourself by having the word, having a relationship with God, building your faith, and then believing in yourself, believing that you need more, deserve more, and should have more. And I don't mean more material things. You know I love shopping. Don't get me wrong. I'm never going to get a pen. I, like, I don't shop, honey, because I do. It's therapy. It's therapy. But I like it. It makes me feel good. I'm not hurting anyone. And I got a roof over my head. 
honey, I'm just going to live my life. And let's see what this baby looks like. Okay, wait a minute now. Whoop! This is heavy, Jesus. You know we won't read no instructions, right? We just opened it and started going. I ain't read no instruction. There we go. So it comes out. Oh, it's got all types of plastic and stuff going on. What's down here? Ooh. Oh. So I guess this is where you are. Okay, wait now. Why is it paper in here? Do I gotta unscrew this? Ooh, that's too much. I think I gotta unscrew something. And please don't say, is this sponsored? Girl, I got four people watching me. Who gonna sponsor me? Nobody but my Lord and Savior. He the only one sponsors me. So I see how it's cooking at the bottom and it has all those multi-functions at the top. So it says you can, it has 11 presets. Wow. So you can do steak, chicken, seafood, shrimp, bacon, frozen foods, bread, desserts, vegetables, root vegetables too, and french fries. And it's connected to an app and all that. So uh, when I cook my first meal, well, matter of fact, I did. By the time this video go up, I'm going to make sure I attach because I'm gonna cook some salmon and some broccoli. So at the end of this, I'll attach what that looks like. But if you're thinking about an air fryer, here's one right here. You got it from Amazon. Okay, let's move on to our next inspiration. The universe only has three answers. Yes, not right now, and I have something better in store for you. You know, we so impatient, none of these fit when we want them to. We want a yes, but we get a, I have something better for you. Well, it don't matter what you have better for me. I want this. So you wind like a little child to, he gives you that. And then when that is over and you done walk through hellfire and brimstone, then you say, wait, can you help me? Because I was looking for a yes, but you didn't give it to me. So I went my own route and now I'm coming back again, hoping you'll say yes this time. So, yes, not right now. You ever tell your children, yes, you can have it. Not right now, wait to dinner. Wait till after you dinner. Or no, I know somewhere where I can get it better. That's your teenager. No, I just want it right now. Can I get it right now? I want this right now. All oh, that leads to patience. You know that, right? Okay. So, my cards go on my inspiration board. So, if you're new and you're wondering, what is the inspiration? That's not scripture. No, it's not. That's my inspiration. I do them both. So, every week, I put my inspiration board up. And I will um, show you what I put up for that week. But I do it every other Wednesday. Until I see nobody's watching it. And I might do once a month. We'll see. The scripture for today, it will be Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. I know the plans I have for you. That's God's telling you. I know the plans I have for you. Remember this? Yes, not right now. wait for what I got better planned for you. I have, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Prosper. Why I say prosper? What, is that a word? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. What he wants to do is build a relationship with you and he wants you to prosper. And prosper does not always mean financial. Y'all got to understand that. Stop putting price. Because a piece of mind, honey, is worth every dime that I have. Not to have 
and the drum had peace of mind and got uh, mm, plans to give you hope in the future. Mm. So he has those plans. Just do the right things. And the right thing is build a relationship with him, having faith in him, giving yourself to him, let him lead and stop taking over. So I didn't keep you long today. So I'll show you at the end how my broccoli and my salmon turn out. Thanks for joining me for today's scripture in my spiritual soul series in my unboxing. Bye guys.